Uh, greetings everyone in this video we'll be looking at uh, exam type question uh, for nc level 3 mathematics achievement standard systems of simultaneous equations uh, at uh, merit level so some of the skills that will be covered in this um, video will be forming equations from a given context uh, solving uh, systems of three linear equations containing three variables devising a strategy to investigate a problem uh, using correct mathematical statements and communicating solutions in uh, context so I've done the achieve part of this problem in my previous video. So if you haven't watched it, please do uh, check that one out. Um, so it says uh, a local coffee shop owner prepares three different types of uh, coffee drinks, latte, cappuccino and flat white for its customers. For each cup of coffee, a latte needs 18 grams of uh, ingredient A, 6 grams of ingredient B and uh, 6 grams of ingredient C. Uh, cappuccino needs uh, 12 grams of ingredient A. 15 grams of ingredient B and uh, 3 grams of ingredient C. Flat white uses 6 grams of uh, ingredient A, 4 grams of ingredient B and uh, 10 grams of ingredient uh, C. And task 1 says find the number of latte, cappuccino and flat white coffee drinks that can be produced uh, using uh, 1,770 grams of ingredient A, 1,350 grams of ingredient B and 1,380 grams of ingredient C. I've already done this uh, task in my previous video, so please do check that one out. In this video, we will be focusing at uh, merit part to this uh, problem. So the second task, uh, which will lead to merits and uh, excellences, uh, it says the owner decides to replace ingredient A with ingredient D in all three coffee mixtures. Uh, the replacement weights are 9 grams for latte. 16 and a half grams for cappuccino and 9 grams for flat white with 2040 grams of ingredient D. The amount of ingredient B and C remain the same. And then it says investigate the new number of uh, coffee drinks that can be produced using ingredients B, C and D without any um, wastage. So what we will do is uh, we need to form equations by defining the variables. So in this case, I can let X be latte, uh, Y be cappuccino drinks and uh, they'd be flat white so there's lots of information uh, given in context so it's easier for you to uh, create a table and um, go from there it's not compulsory but that will um, help you uh, forming equations so i've already created a table for you guys so it's easy to uh, see that so i've replaced um, ingredient a with ingredient d uh, as mentioned in this uh, question and the um, uh, replacement weights are 9 16.5 and uh, 9 with a total of 2040 so these um, bits are new now so that's a new equation and then it says ingredients b and c remain the same so these remain the same and now it's easier for us to form the equation so equation for ingredient D will be 9x plus 16.5y plus 9z is equal to 2040. Likewise, we can form equations for B and C. So this table uh, really helps. Uh, otherwise, you'll be reading uh, uh, lots of information here and uh, um, there's a high chance of you uh, picking the wrong value. So uh, please always double check. So in this case, the first equation, like I mentioned earlier, is 9x plus 16.5y plus 9z is 2040. Uh, likewise, 6x plus 15y plus 4z equals to 1350 is our second equation. And the third one is uh, 6x plus 3y plus 10z is equal to 1380. Um, then uh, we follow the procedures. If I use a graphics calculator, it will result in a math error. So this is telling us that uh, it could be either the second case where you may not have any solutions or it could be uh, multiple solutions. So that's what's required for you to investigate for merit. So we will uh, proceed uh, to solve this algebraically. So it's easy to eliminate uh, variable X. So um, what we will do is uh, we'll multiply the second equation by 1.5 and then take it away from uh, equation 1. So 1 take away 1.5 by its second equation. So let's quickly do that. 9x plus 16.5y plus uh, 9z is 2040, first equation. And if I multiply the second equation by 1.5, I will get 9x plus 22.5y plus 6z is equal to 2025. To get rid of variable x, 
I will subtract the two equations. So if I quickly subtract the two equations, 16.5y minus 22.5y will give you uh, negative 6y. Uh, and then 9 take away 6z will give you 3z. 2040 take away 2025 will give you 15. So that's our fourth equation. And uh, we'll uh, do the same thing uh, and eliminate x coefficient of x for uh, equations 2 and 3 is uh, same which is 6 so it's easier for us to go equation 2 minus equation 3 so uh, equation 2 6x plus 15y plus 4z is 1350 6x plus 3y plus 10z is 1380 if i subtract the two i will end up with um, 15 take away 3, which is 12y. 4 take away 10, watch out, it's 4 minus 10 is negative 6z. And then 1350 minus 1380 is negative 30. So always be careful when you are dealing with negative numbers. And that's our fifth equation. Now we will be looking at equations uh, 4 and 5. And if I go equation 4, if I multiply equation 4, by 2 so if i double equation 4 and then add it to uh, equation 5 i will be able to eliminate uh, variable y because they will have uh, 12 as the coefficient so, right so that's our fourth equation and then uh, uh, because the coefficients are same i can add the two uh, um, equations now and uh, if i do that you'll see that uh, it results in uh, zero is equal to zero because minus 12 plus 12 cancels out then 6 plus negative 6 also cancels out and then 30 plus minus 30 is zero so in this case we have ended up with zero is equal to zero now what this tells us now uh, for merit you need to interpret what this means so this is now uh, telling us that an algebraic uh, solution has resulted in a true statement because zero is equal to zero is true and that's uh, uh, that means that uh, it is a consistent system with dependent equations and in other words if i multiplied equation uh, three so this is our equation number three if i multiplied equation three by 0 0.5 and if i added it to equation two this will give me equation number one so that's a uh, dependent equations for example if i go 0 0.5 times 6 gives me 3 and then if i go 3 plus 6 will give me 9 likewise 0 0.5 times 3 is 1.5 so 1.5 plus 15 is 16.5 and half of 10 is 5 5 plus 4 is 9 likewise 0 0.5 times 1380 if i add that to 1350 will give me 2040 so this means it's a consistent system with dependent equations and uh, geometrically the planes will intersect uh, on a line which means this uh, will have multiple solutions so if you manage to interpret this uh, and mention that it will have multiple solutions you will qualify for merit and uh, this is the this is an example of the arrangement of uh, these three planes and you can see that there is a common intersection here the planes intersect on a line giving uh, multiple solutions i uh, hope this helps uh, in the next video we'll be looking at uh, the excellence part to this problem now to get the excellence you will need to then uh, find those uh, multiple solutions thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video